Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, my name is Katie and we just got back from a vacation um, at the Hershey Park Camping Resort in Hershey, Pennsylvania. So I wanted to share it with you guys in case you're also looking to book a trip here. This was our very first time camping as a family and the campground itself was so beautiful, um, just so clean and maintained so well. Um, you know, it's part of the Hershey Resorts, so you know that it's going to have have a quality of excellence since it is owned by Hershey. And so they do have um, tent sites, RV sites, and cabin rentals. And so we came with friends of ours. Here's all of us together. Um, there were six of us adults and I think seven kids. <laughs> and we all rented cabins for um, four days. And so we just had an absolute blast blast together staying at the Hershey Park Camping Resort. They always have like activities for kids. They have pools, they have arcade. Um, there's just a lot to do and there's a lot of perks that go along with staying at the Hershey um, Camping Resort, which I will talk about soon. But let me show you a little tour of the cabin. Okay, this is cabin 24 at Hershey Park Camping Resort. I'm gonna give you guys a little tour. It's a really cute little porch and that's where the picnic table is. We just got here and just set our stuff down. So it's kind of a mess going inside. This is what it looks like from the front door. There's a nice little table right here with two chairs and the remotes and instructions and stuff. Fire extinguisher if you were to need it. This sofa does pull out. So it is um, like a full size or a queen size maybe bed if you need extra space. We got a ceiling fan, which is super nice because I always want the breeze going. And one of the best parts is that we have an air conditioner because this is really glamping, not camping. And it feels so good, so nice and cool, which is amazing. There's also a TV, so if you wanna watch the news or whatever, watch something after the kids go to bed. It's kind of small, but that's fine. I mean, we're gonna be outdoors the entire time we're here, so I doubt that we'll even use that. But here is the kitchen area. It actually has everything you need, which is awesome. There's a sink. There is a two burner stove top. Um, there is a fridge and freezer, which is not like a full, full size, but it's a pretty good size. I would say probably bigger than what's in like a camper. Um, there's a coffee pot and there's a microwave and the um, cabin is stocked with like all of the cups and bowls and I think this one has cups and stuff in it. Everything that you need so you don't have to bring that kind of stuff. Um, you do have to bring your own linen. So here is the bedroom. Now this is a one bedroom cabin. They do have two bedroom cabins. Um, but we just didn't want to pay the extra price because <laughs> we're only going to be sleeping in here. So, um, it does have a full size bunk on the bottom, a twin on top, and then over here, a twin and on bottom, a twin. And so you do have to provide your own linens. So all of our pillows and stuff are in that black trash bag. But one of the cool things is underneath the beds, they do have these nice drawers. So you can put the kids stuff in there, put shoes in there put whatever gear, gear you want in there. So there's two on this side, also two on this side. And then it has these holes, which is for your suitcase. You can kick them up under there and get them out of the way, which is great when you're you know, a little bit tight on space. And there is a fan built in right there to get some of the cool air into this room. And next I'm gonna show you the bathroom. It's pretty small, but to have a bathroom while you're camping is amazing. So it just has a pedestal sink and a toilet and a mirror and two shelves for you to put, you know, toothpaste, toothbrush, hairbrush, whatever. Um, there's some more storage space there. So if you needed to put, you know, towels or whatever, and then it's just a stand up shower. So but it's nice. It's really nice to be able to have your own bathroom. So that is the whole tour of our cabin here at Hershey Park Camping Resort. And then here's our fire pit. Our friends are staying in this cabin right beside us. And so that's their fire pit. So it's really nice. They're really close and we can set up our chairs wherever. And it's really nice and wooded around here. There is another cabin right there. We don't know who's staying there, but it's just these three cabins like tucked up in this little peaceful corner. 
I think one of the best things about camping is just sitting around the fire, talking and laughing and spending time together. We had so much fun just doing that. And Hershey Park Camping Resort is really the perfect place. That It's filled with tons of families, so there's kids running around everywhere. You don't have to worry about trying to keep your kids quiet or, you know, whatever. They can just be a kid and have fun out in nature. And so we just absolutely loved it so much. The cabins were so nice. I was really impressed. With, they had everything. They had thought through everything that you would need for camping. Um, and the setting was just beautiful and peaceful and we just really enjoyed ourselves so much and so um, now I'm going to show you guys a little tour of the camp store which had everything that you needed um, they did have like hot dogs hot dog buns s'more stuff and then a lot of fun little souvenirs also everywhere was really walkable we walked um, to this camp store and to the pool but you can bring your own golf cart if you have one. A lot of people did that, or there are parking spots at the store if you wanted to drive. Um, but right across from the camp store, which is in that red barn building, is the pool. Now there are three pools, two are big, and then one is like a little tiny waiting pool that's like perfect for babies or toddlers. Um, and they are staffed with lifeguards, so that's really great. And it, this was right after Memorial Day when we were there, so they weren't too busy yet, but I'm sure as the weather gets hotter, the pools will be much more busy. Um, in the Red Barn building, they do have restrooms right across from the pool that have bathrooms and then also showers, so that's nice. There were tons of other bathhouses located all around the property, so if you are staying in a tent, they have tons of places to take a shower, and they were very clean and very nice. Here's a quick peek into one of those showers. Now we didn't use these since we had showers in our cabins, but they're, these were more spacious than the cabin showers. So I was really impressed by those. Um, definitely a great perk if you are tent camping, which by the way, if you are tent camping, that is a very affordable, budget-friendly way to do Hershey. Um, so that's a great option for, you know, if you're more on a budget. Now they do also have a laundry room right there next to um, the front desk registration area. So if you're there for like a week and you need to do laundry, um, that's very convenient. So I just stuck my head in there real quick to get a little video for you guys. They do also have like detergent for sale there. So you don't need to worry about bringing your own, but that is really awesome and convenient for your use. And now we're going to go on in and check out the camp store. Now you can buy your tickets to Hershey Park here, which one of the perks of staying at the camping resort is you can get a really great discount on your tickets to Hershey Park. I think regular tickets at the time that we were there were around $85 per day per person. If you purchased them through the camp store, they were right at like $49.99, which is a really great discount in my opinion. The store is also stocked with tons of really cute souvenirs, stuff that is more, um, I guess, pertaining to camping than you would find like at the Hershey Park gift stores. But they did have some of the same things, but also a lot of their own merch, which is fun to have something, you know, kind of custom to the campground. Um, I picked up a ornament because every time we go on vacation or we go somewhere, I like to buy an ornament for our Christmas tree so that every year when we decorate our tree, we always look back at all the places that we've been and we have fun, you know, just reliving the memories. So I got a really cute um, Christmas ornament, but as you can see, they literally had every kind of souvenir that you could think of, imagine, or want. <laughs> They also did have a nice little coffee area in the back where they were selling all sorts of different types of coffees and even some slushies for the kiddos. So if you need a little pick me up, <laughs> the store was also stocked with um, basic food items like bread, hot dogs, buns, s'more supplies, that kind of thing. And they were also stocked with like your basic camping gear. You could buy your firewood there because Pennsylvania is a state where they don't allow um, out of state firewood to be brought with you 
So if you're coming from out of state, um, you do need to purchase your firewood there. So you can get that at the store. They have, you know, lighters, matches, all sorts of different camping supplies in case you were to need anything. Um, they really have thought of it all in the convenience of just being able to buy it there at the campground rather than having to leave and go to the grocery store, you know, five minutes down the road is just super convenient and worth it in my opinion. Now I do want to mention one thing that could possibly be like the only con about the campground is that there is an active freight train that comes right by the campground and it runs at all hours of the day and night. Um, and so it was very close to our cabin, like literally right behind it. You could see it and you could hear it. And I will um, include a little clip so that you could hear kind of how loud it is. Um, thankfully we all sleep with white noise machines. So honestly you couldn't really hear it from inside the cabin, but um, you know, it, it is loud. Now it is stated on their website that there is a train. So we knew about this train before we got to the campground, but just in case, you know, you didn't know that, or you think it would bother you. Um, also our cabin was just really close to the train tracks. Now, if you were on the other side of the campground, like farthest away from it, you probably might not even notice it that much, but honestly, it wasn't that bad. It didn't really bother us at all. None of the kids ever woke up from it. It didn't bother our, like we were so tired at the end of the day from going to the parks anyways. Um, but I just wanted to let you to, uh, be aware of that. Another thing that is really awesome about the Hershey Park Camping Resort is they really do cater to children, so kid-friendly. There are several really nice, updated, um, newer-looking playgrounds located throughout the campground. This was one of them, um, and they were great for kids of all ages. They also have these fun little Hershey um, candy characters located all over the campground that make for really cute photo ops. Um, so definitely be on the lookout for those, but the playgrounds are so nice and the kids liked being able to try out, uh, you know, a couple of the different ones and they had a lot of fun doing that. One of my favorite perks about staying at this campground is the shuttle. So they do offer a shuttle service that takes you right to a special, um, parking place at the Hershey Park, kind of in between Hershey Park entrance and Chocolate World. So it's super convenient. And that shuttle runs constantly all day. So you can come back to the campground for lunch if you wanted to, you know, or whatever, but it's a free shuttle. So you don't have to pay for parking at Hershey Park. And it's just super convenient. The buses are air conditioned and we never had to wait long at all. Here's what the shuttle station kind of looks like. It does have a little bit of shade right there, which is nice. And it also has a measuring station so your kids can go ahead and see, um, you know, what kind of rides they'll be able to ride by um, how tall they are. Um, and so this was just, like I said, one of our favorite perks because it saves so much money on parking and not having to deal with getting into the park yourselves. And here is a look at what the shuttle bus looks like. The drivers were all super friendly and helpful. And of course, you can bring your strollers on the bus as well. And of course, every night at Hershey Park Camping Resort ends with s'mores with chocolate Hershey bars by the fire. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and getting a little sneak peek at the Hershey Park Camping Resort. I really can't recommend this campground enough. We had an absolute blast and we're already planning our trip for next summer. That's how much we enjoyed it. So thank you guys for watching. Um, feel free to leave any comments down below. I'll be happy to answer whatever questions that I can, but I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I hope you have a great rest of your week and I'll see you in my next video, which by the way, will be our Hershey Park vlog. So come back and check it out.